Yo, what's up guys? How you doing? Uh, my name is Masood. So, in today's video, I just wanted to break down, um, or give you guys a little breakdown of how I actually got my first client. So, if you guys didn't know, if you've been watching my videos, um, I do also run a social media marketing agency. And so, I have recently signed my first client. Um, I wanted to just speak through and break down some of the steps that I took to actually sign that client because um, I know in the first few months of actually um, going into business, I didn't have a clue um, as to what I was doing. And I think that if I had someone telling me, you know, this is what I did, this is how I did it, and this is what worked and this is what didn't, I think it may have reduced the amount of time that actually um, they actually took to actually sign a client. So it took me three months um, <laughs> to sign my first one. Um, so I definitely think you can do it a lot sooner if you know what you're doing. And so this video might give you an idea of uh, some of the steps to take to actually go ahead and uh, actually bring someone on board with you. Um, possibly even in the first few weeks that you actually start thinking about uh, doing social media marketing. Um, so I'm going to be giving you know little tips and pieces of advice through this video uh, that's going to help you um, you know increase your uh, your client acquisition rate. Um, so definitely just you know take my advice how you will. Um, I'm still learning myself, but I can only give you um, advice from things that I've learned and things that I've experienced myself. So anyway. Um, first of all, let's start with uh, how I actually met this business. So in terms of my outreach, I decided to go door to door in my local community and just go in and out of different businesses and ask, ask them or prospect my services. So I was going in there and I was introducing myself. I would say, you know, hi, um, how are you guys doing? My name is Masood. I'm a 24 year old, I've just finished university and I've started my own business. Um, I think that a lot of the, uh, you know, my, a lot of my community or people nowadays are not really leveraging the power of social media um, correctly and I think that um, I'd love to provide a service which is going to help increase, um, you know, the quality the, of the business that you run and bring you more money basically. Um, so something along those lines. Anyway, I did that for about half a day. Um, I did that for I did that to about fifty businesses in and out, going in and out, speaking to different owners, and you know, sales assistants really, because sometimes the owners was weren't in the shop, so I had to you know call back or um, or come back another day or whatever. But anyway, on the day that I did it, um, I you know during mid during this the the mid point of the day or the, or the half. Um, at half, you know, like I did about 20 businesses in and out until I stumbled across a chiropractic practice um, and uh, they, yeah, so that went really well actually um, and the me the actual meeting I was there for, I was, I was there for like an hour um, so way over the time that I expected to be there for. Normally I would go in and speak to people, it would take about 10-15 minutes just to talk to them about what I do and and find out about them. But this guy took, this person took, or this business took an hour. Um, and, uh, you know, to, to my surprise, the practice manager was a really forward thinking um, person. He knew about uh, sales funnels and he knew about the current trends of marketing. Um, he had a previous background in sales himself. He worked in sales for about 20 years. He actually, he actually had his own publishing company. So that was, <laughs> that was really helpful. Um, it was a little bit overwhelming actually um, at the time because uh, I felt like he knew more than me and he was the one doing more, more of the talking uh, in contrast to me doing the talking which is what I normally I'm used to so that was funny um, but after that uh, we scheduled a follow-up uh, call uh, which we had um, and then from there we just discussed a few details about what he was expecting um, and you know he wasn't looking for any sort of lead generation or you know for me to bring him any people to his practice or any to, to increase his sales or whatever but he was looking to improve his online presence so I suggested or he suggested even um, a brand video some sort of video was going to introduce his practice and a couple of videos which he can put out on his social media um, educational videos which gives value to people 
about you know different chiropractic topics like um, you know different uh, postures to lift a baby out of a car seat etc etc so stuff like that um, and then you know I, I, that was that was pretty fine that was fine with me I was just happy to bring someone on to be honest um, to actually have someone to uh, that actually wanted to work with me and pay me money at the same time so um, I think the first client is always really really hard because you don't have you know any really you don't have any paid experience but um, the way that I went about that is I did a lot of work for free so I did work I, I well I did a lot of um, sort of audits for people in terms of their businesses and telling them or showing them where they can improve and so I got referrals sorry testimonials from there um, just written testimonials on like my Facebook page uh, or or I might ask a per or I might ask them to send me um, you know their logo and I'll put it on my website or something like that um, so um, I did that um, and uh, yeah that's what I used basically to to use as a uh, uh, as leverage uh, in terms of the actual meeting and when the client wanted to know if I had done this before and you know I said I have I've done similar things to, to this and uh, this is my experience basically so it's good to show that because it, it basically just reassures them and you can imagine just put yourself in a business owner's shoes and 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 ask yourself, would you hire a person who's just finished uni, has no experience, has, um, you know, plus my degree was in physiotherapy, like why would he, it's just, just, it just this is like something totally on the other end of the spectrum, so yeah, so uh, you can imagine like to, to feel reassured, you want to know that someone knows what they're doing. That's, that's a, that's a no-brainer anyway, you should know that. Um, but uh, so we had the follow-up call and then we scheduled everything the videos what he wanted um, as I said uh, and then we um, decided on a, on a date which was a, which was a couple of weeks ago that just went um, and then yeah we shot the two videos I hired a videographer uh, who I found off of Instagram and I introduced you guys to his name was Toju really, really nice guy um, I'm still you know in touch with him uh, he's a really cool guy um, and yeah really good photog videographer sorry uh, so yeah and I didn't make any profit from this client because the money that I got I paid the videographer straight away so it was basically uh, I was basically the middleman in this transaction I set up the deal basically and I paid um, the yeah I paid the vid videographer everything I had um, just to afford his services um, just to be able to, to make a high quality video which is what was important for me because um, I wanted to have more uh, you know leverage going in the, going forwards um, I wanted to have something to show that was really good and high quality so people knew what they were they were getting when they were coming to uh, making having some sort of business with me and my company so um, so yeah that's what I did um, and now we're two weeks um, it's it's a couple of the, the videos are done and uh, yeah I'm just I've actually um, I've been made aware that uh, these this practice manager has another business that he'd like to refer me to so he's actually gonna go ahead and speak to them for me um, and then we'll see where it, where it goes from there um, but this is basically the um, the good thing about actually having your first you know client if you do a really good job and they're really happy it's so easy for you to be referred on to somebody else because um, you know some of these business owners especially local business owners have been doing their thing for 10 15 20 years so just imagine the contacts that they have they can literally put you into contact with somebody like doing something really cool uh, just like that literally like literally um, as if you do a good job, the, the, like there's abundant opportunities, man. Um, so definitely, you wanna every every opportunity you have, like every job that you have, every client that you have, you wanna make sure you do a, a sick job. Like, so I said sick, but that's a very it's like a very colloquial term. But um, you wanna do a very 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 good job, basically of everything uh, or if everything that you do. You wanna show people that you're professional. You have systems. Um, 
yeah, just do your best and uh, y you trust me. Like, it's not as hard as people make it out to be. I think it took me three months to actually sign the first person because um, I didn't know what the hell I was doing. Um, and I hadn't taken any courses at that time. So now I'm actually taking a course. I'm actually studying. Like, I understand it a lot more than when I first started. And it's totally natural. So it takes a little bit of time to get accustomed to everything and how things work. Um, but uh, yeah, if you want to, if, if you're doing social media marketing right now and you just started, um, I think the easiest sort of clients that you can get is people to actually just, you know, to, uh, to get our content creation um, specific people. Clients who need some sort of content creation like a brand video or some sort of video that they can use to put out on their social media. Um, it's so simple, like literally you can do it with your phone or um, you could do it if you have a DSLR, if you're into YouTube, if you're a YouTuber and you have some video editing skills or you have some video skills already, that's a plus because uh, you're going to know what you're doing. Um, and you already have the equipment so you don't have to buy anything. Um, so yeah, uh, content creation is the easiest sort of service that I would say uh, to get started in, in social media marketing and then from there you know if you wanted to upgrade your skills uh, really just try and do a little bit of learning in your own time um, study and uh, you know studying is n the, the number one thing you can do but um, my advice uh, from out of all of this is to learn sales because if I didn't know any sales I wouldn't have or well, if I didn't like have any sort of sale sales skills, I wouldn't even have approached that person. Um, so sales is the number one thing that's gonna take you far in this business uh, model, I think. Um, it's not how to learn, it's not how to do Facebook ads, it's not how to do uh, sales funnels or anything like that. It's, um, it's how to communicate with people and how to deliver a message that's clear, coherent, and that the other person can understand the value that you're bringing and um, the, you know, the journey that you can take them on, basically. So you can take it from point A to point B and this gap in the middle is where you can fill in the gap and that's your services, basically. So you want to get them from here to here and explain to them that this gap with, is possible, um, is made possible to get over with your help. Um, but yeah, that's a little nugget for you guys. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I'm gonna catch you guys later. So have a nice day. Take care. Oy, 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 oy. Man, I've been wavy, wavy. I swear all we do is win lately. Now we pull up in a Mercedes. All white like I'm slim shady.